everybody and welcome back to Let's Mess Up Sim Cities of Tomorrow with me the Trunkleton. We are in Utopia. We are still waiting for this. It's 82% research. Uh, I let it I only let it run for a little while. I've been busy the past couple of days. Yesterday we went to a museum with the wifey. It was awesome. I had a fun day there. Ate a Bubba Gumps. Oh man, it was nice. So nice. So we got this mega tower here. We still need to hurry up this research so we can get sky bridges implemented. I want maybe another level before we put a sky bridge here, and we're gonna put one here so it goes up. Should do like an S shape kind of thingy. This is needs to be bulldozed. So if you haven't been watching my Minecraft series, you won't know about me going to Guam, well talking about Guam more, it should, it's, I don't know, 98% positive that we're going to Guam, I'd say, in about 6 weeks or so, or maybe even less, maybe even 5 weeks, uh, for my nephew's birthday, which is going to be awesome, he wants us there, and we all want to be there, but also I plan on getting a Nintendo 3DS there, because it's going to be cheaper, because I am... Um, cheap <laughs> so I can get Pokemon so I'm just wondering if you guys want to see me do a series on Pokemon obviously the quality won't be quite as nice as this because I'm going to be recording it from a video camera because that's the only way I know how I don't I think the only way you can capture 3ds is if you get a special one from Japan and it comes with a 3d capture card in it so yeah, but I don't have the money to do that, so I'm going to be recording it on video camera and hopefully I can get it set up so I don't have to do any screen editing, like cutting stuff off the screen so it's there. I want to do that. Have I speeded up time? No, I have not speeded up time. Crazy me. I wish this would turn to the future. Futurize this. You know, up to this point, it would be fine. Crazy game. So, mostly just waiting on this. Uh, it's going to be a quick episode today, only about 20 minutes, going to do about 10 minutes in each city. Got to go out. Told, told you, very busy lately, very, very busy. There's not much I can do about that. Life does get in the way sometimes. But yeah. And so, because I wanted to get Pokemon for the 3DS, I had a Game Boy, not a Game Boy, a Nintendo DS, the original one actually, the big fat one, I had that, and it disappeared on me. Don't know where it's gone at all. I looked everywhere for it, like five times. Could not find it. Um, anything going on here? Wow, we're waiting. Power's good. What is good? Sewage is awesome. Town hall does not need to be upgraded. We, I never stick these down. For one, they cost money. See, why is this free? And yet this costs 30 grand. That makes no sense to me. But yeah, so I couldn't find my DS I had all my Pokemon games but two because they were in the DS that either is disappeared forever or got stolen I have a feeling they might have got stolen so yesterday I went out and bought one as well bought a DS Lite so I could still use the cartridges from the Game Boy Advance because I still got quite a few games there and I've started playing that again I was considering doing that on video but I think I'll just wait until I get X and Y and do them on video. I've got to try and set it all up. I've still got to do practice and sort it all out. Maybe make a setup of where. There's no alloy there. Where do you think? Almost. So you are our major income. Oh, we're in the positive, which is a good thing, but uh, it's not necessarily going to work out yet. This is what we're going to need. As our income. When was the last time we sold? We sold Alloy. Is it September? Today. Sold Alloy twice actually. In August we sold it once. And then we sold it the whole year before. Wow. Wow. Took a year. But yeah. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. PDS. I also want to get Animal Crossings. So I do have a plan for putting them on my channel. Pokemon is my favorite game of all time. I do have other favorite games, but like 
number one by far is the Pokemon series. Then it's Zoo Tycoon, and then it's this Sim City, and then yeah, they're, they're they're my top three games of all time. Then other games come into it. Final Fantasy series, awesome game, loved them. Uh, well, I got Final Fantasy twelve on the day it came out actually in Gibraltar, which I think was a day or a couple of days before it came out in the UK. What it was is I was in work. Working in Pizza Hut, uh, my friend also worked there and he came in a bit, he wanted the game as well. So he came in a bit early and what he did was, because Gibraltar is so small, it's basically on the same street as where I worked. I told him I wanted it, he came in a bit early because I was working, he knew I wanted it so he could get us both a copy. He got there as the shop opened and before the guy had even opened the box he'd asked for it. So the guy went and opened the box and we got the first two copies of Final Fantasy XII. It was awesome. So that was cool. So we got it before anyone else in Gibraltar. Pretty much, I don't know how many people there would have bought it on that day anyway. But still, we got the first two copies. That was an awesome day. I went home and I played pretty much all night. I think I booked the day off or a few days off afterwards so I could just keep on playing that game. And to be honest with you, the game was really, really nice. But the end boss was so easy really easy actually I think he was like level 70 or something and I was like level 50 and I destroyed him I remember there's a part in that fight where you cannot touch him at all you just got to survive because you're on like the circle platform or something and he's on the outside and you're stuck on the inside of the circle and oh my he was easy you just have to make sure you survived so yeah I did that um, Grand Theft Auto is also one of my favourite series. Now, I am not what you class as a Grand Theft Auto fanboy. I have been around since the beginning. Grand Theft Auto 1, I played Grand Theft Auto 1. I played. I had Grand Theft Auto London, Grand Theft Auto 2. I also played Grand Theft Auto 2 when I ever went to my, around to my friend's place and he had it on the PC because we had it on the PS1. Play it there. Grand Theft Auto 3, I got late because I didn't get my PlayStation 2 for a long time after it came out. I always do that. I, so it'll be the same with the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 3, I didn't get until I moved to, to the Philippines. My wife bought it for me. So yeah, PlayStation 4, I don't plan on getting for at least a year. Maybe even more. I've still got PlayStation games I need to complete. Um, just destroying all of this crap. I'm sorry we haven't done much in the city and it's very talky with 91% research. There's not much we can do and it's flowing fine. It's all going good. Just the odd abandoned building. We we don't have Omega yet, obviously. We should what's going on here? Why are you not building? Hmm. A strange. But yeah, the city's running perfectly fine and smooth, which is awesome. We still got things to do. We still got obviously got this area to fill in, and we gotta change up this area. We gotta get it so we can get buildings in here curved, curve these roads. This means moving this around a bit, and I'm thinking um, we might have to change this to an avenue. I don't see actually that much traffic going along it to be honest with you. Traffic in the city seems to be good. They all seem to be sticking where they need to stick. Like these people up here seem to stick up here mostly. This this area seems to stick well together. So we're doing quite well. It's just filling in the blanks, getting everything up to high density, I think. What happened here? Not enough workers. That's another problem. We might end up just flooding this place with workers, like a lot of residents towers in, and then to compensate on one of these, we're gonna stick like an office level. But obviously there will be enough shops on the outside, so we have these nice super tall skyscrapers. The one thing I love about this city is this area has never died. Not once has it died. And we have three buildings exactly the same. Let's bulldoze this one. It's an old building as well, it's not even a new building. And we've got this and this. Oh, they're two different ones. They're residents, right? Yeah. And then this one. Oh yeah, it's this one and this one I was looking at. Both residents. And then here, that's nice, you're new, you're old, old model, not <laughs> necessarily just old, this is awesome, 
I would like these to go a bit taller. These newer models, they do grow, grow, grew. Why did I say grew? These do grow taller than the, the base old models. But still, look at this thing. It is massive. How are we now? Oops. What was that? Was that the progress? No, I thought that was progressive there. Upset we didn't get free. It's going to be a major problem. 95% researched. We are going to have to cut this, this episode short. So we are going to go over to the other city right now. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're back here. Which is cool. I, uh, we gotta get this is we're getting this area set up remember for the industry let's fast forward time I have no idea what we're gonna do this episode I'm in a rush <laughs> it's craziness normally I have time to think you know I load up the city look around decide what we're gonna do I don't have the time today gotta go to the bank for my mother-in-law me and my wife are setting some stuff up there for her um, we need to get Vu Tower in how is the crime here how is the Crime. We have zero crimes committed, 30 criminals at large. You know what? We need to save up some money. Oh my. We go to the police station anyway. How much is that's the hospital? Vuta 120 gun. Oh my. But it does increase the tech level. I may have set this up wrong. We should have probably put him on this side. He's closer to this. We do have Omega coming. That's one of the things that's going to be a problem. Hmm. Because we have the VTOL pad working, right? We need oil. Of course you need oil. Stop. Stop buying. Stop buying the raw. Oh, buy oil instead, you crazy, crazy thing. Oops, what happened there? Let's read it anyway. Mayor Trunkleton. The city could use some more income. Omega Co. offers a very generous profit sharing as city starts using Omega Co. products. Let us hook up more factories on Omega and rake in more cash. It might even be worth taking out a bond to get started. See this? They, they, they really want it so bad they want to put the city in debt. Provide you can convert more factories to Omega Co. franchises, I'll give you a bonus. I'll do it. What do we even have to do? Convert four factories. So Omega Co franchises, four remaining. Get up to 1,700 per hour in Omega Co franchise profit. That's easy. We were doing more than that before. The thing is, we've only just started. It needs oil and it keeps buying raw oil. Well, it doesn't. It's bought it twice. Right. Now, we could get a trade depot down and do that. The thing is, it's our cash is the problem. And I have a feeling what is what the Omega Co factory is going to do, it's going to buy raw ore first because it's cheaper than the oil. Instead of waiting for the oil price to, the, the, till we got enough money for oil, it's going to do that. So there's nothing we can do there. We, only, we have to get more monies. More monies? Why is there a criminal living in this tower when there is nowhere to live? He's just there hanging out, waiting. He's there like, I'm going to get you. Once you build some commercial, I'm gonna get ya. Craziness, man. He's just waiting there. Look at this guy. Whoop. Yeah, he wants to rob the sewage treatment plant. This <laughs> is craziness. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna go here. Why did I not restart my timer like a fool? Um, no one is ready to increase in density, which is... Okay, oh, we only put it up last episode anyways, so it doesn't really matter too much. As all this is going to be resident, well, actually, it might be commercial, I think. But, yeah, we need to get more residents in here. We need a lot of residents for our factories. We also need to consider doing the great works, don't we? Great works, so let's click on that. We still need a million to build this. We're not doing the Space Center, we've already done that anyway. And I know we've already done the Arcology in the other series. We don't need an international airport. We're not planning on bringing people into this part of the region. Maybe on the other side, we could do that. I was so disappointed in the Space Center. It sucked. Solar Farm. Problem with the Solar Farm is it constantly sets itself on fire. <laughs> Therefore, all your cities end up with no power until a fire 
engine can get over there. That sucks as well. Oh, we need water. Water. Close by mayor. Oops, open it. Why did I close that? Did we need did we need money or something? Probably did. Uh you're gonna cost one thousand let's go in here and let's shoot off two pumps. Cause I don't think we need all this yet. <sighs> what we got a huge excess. Let's go pump into the city now. Good. Stop crying! Stop c c c crying. You're getting your water. So let's go back here. What do we need exactly? What do we what are we looking at here? We need we got available jobs, so we need more people. And we actually have unsold goods, which means we need people. So let's let's do this. That might be enough for one big building. Hopefully it is. I don't mind sacrificing a bit of area here. So let's do that. And then let's do let's do this. Let's put a little bit of commercial on the end. Um, we are going to need factories all along here. Whoa, do you see that lag spike? It actually sp spiked up then. We, uh, it was smoother. Weird. So we've got police. I don't know what I'm going to do with Dr. Boo. If we're actually going to do the missions, or if we're just going to stick him in and try and arrest all the people. I think we're going to need a police station for that. Are you working now? Yes! About time. Awesome. Omega back up and running. That's what we're going to call this episode. If I remember to call it that. So now, let's do a screenshot, I think. Screenshot with the bridge, maybe. Let's look for a nice... There we go. Uh, let's see. Problem is, this bar, I can never see. I gotta assume it's in frame. <laughs> rather than knowing let's do this control c we can't really see this though i might do that again later on oh so yeah like i was talking about pokemon wasn't i i can't wait to play it to be honest with you i hope you guys want me to do this let's do that so we can get another building in here um I think it's going to be lots and lots of fun. I get to play it. I get to be silly. I get to capture all the Pokemon. And it's the reason why I'm playing them now on my uh, old DS. Well, my brand new DS. Yes. <laughs> brand new DS. Um, we might be able to get a building in he here. Maybe. Let's see. Let's go with that. that might be just enough. Hopefully it cuts off there. So, yeah. I'm trying to make it so that when, once I've got it all set up and ready with the, the 3ds that i can there's a thing called the pokemon bank that they've just released and i need to get that as asap once i got the game because you get what is it celebi you get a him for free but geez, he's a legendary pokemon that was only given out for events and i want him that means it's less hassle you get him for free my wife is not gonna like it man because she's not around the same we gotta pay for the pokemon bank annually <laughs> so i best play these games do I, she's going to kill me if I get that and never use it. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a worldwide event. And I'm hoping they, they, they send out all the other ones. The other Pokemon events things out. So, let's design this road similar to here. But I want to go backwards, I think. Because we got this doing the L shape at the top. I want to do this L shape down the bottom. I want it coming in here and then going up. Let's try that. So we need a park. We need, yes, we need a park. Actually, first off, we need this. We need that. To, let's just have it go to the. Now we need a park. We did it already. Two thousand five hundred profit. We're doing absolutely nothing. Something we were going to do anyway. Let's place that there. Let's get off the parks. Let's get on the roads. On the road again. Let's come up just a little bit. If I hold shift. Ah, oh, you evil, evil game. Oops, we've got to come up just a tad more. Too far now. Yep, too far. Let's 
still too far. It's too close. Oh. Oh, just a little bit. I'll have to do. Let's draw that across. Let's draw that down. Bulldoze this. There we go. Beautiful. Bulldoze the park. Now, I told you before the whole reason for this L shape is it forces people to only come down this road when necessary. If they're going to live here, they're going to live here. Because the shortest route is not this L shape. If they want to come up here, they're going to drive along this road up here and then across here and through there. Or likewise, if they're coming this way, up here, there, then there. They're not going to come up here, down here, up here, there, and then through. So, yeah, it forces people to only use what is necessary. So that's why we're going to put the commercial along that road. Yep, that's what we're doing, ladies and germs. Well, we don't want anything on this road. So we're going to put that there. And then... Oh, no, that's not going to work. Put that there. Unzone. Why was I about to bulldoze? That there. And then we want this. Duh. That should hopefully be one big building. It should fit perfectly. And then we want one here. Now that should work out perfectly, I think. We will do it. That's how it works. And this area then is full. It's maximized, I think. Should be maximized. We will see it in which one? This one first. So you can see. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm saying, oh no, 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 for a reason. We need to unzone this little square. Bulldoze this house. And then what? We actually have to unzone this one as well. Rezone this one. Let that grow. And then place this there. And then that should grow. Yeah, perfect. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. It's already Omega. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. And we're doing it now, guys. So we're going to end this episode early. Like I said, only about 20 minutes today. Let's get this in. Hopefully, if I get this right, let's put that. Nope. Too much. Ah, man. Let's get kind of right. It's... No, that's not working. I can't get it. That will have to do. It's a screenshot. And it's not night time anymore. I wanted to see the Omega cosine anyway. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe. If you leave a comment, please tell me if you want me to do Pokemon. I would like to hear it. If you want to watch me do Pokemon, that would be awesome. Don't forget, SimCity will be here no matter what. It is the number one series on my channel, no matter how much I love Pokemon. My channel is mostly a SimCity channel. For now, it's it's a gaming channel mostly, but yeah, SimCity is the priority for now. And I want to thank you guys for watching once again. Please, please, please come back, see me next time, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.